Morning guys, I'm Dave Canterbury with Self Reliance Outfitters and the Pathfinder School. I had a buddy of mine, uh, Maritime Spook, ask me to shoot this video and it probably is a video I should have shot a while ago anyway because there seems to be a lot of confusion on my viewpoints. Lots of people seem to take what I say very literally in videos, sometimes even when I'm stating an opinion, but that's beside the point. So the question was, is to carry or not carry a neck knife? or to put a knife around your neck or not wear a knife around your neck. And really, to me, that's a very subjective question. I choose not to do it while I'm walking through the woods. And the reason for that really is just because anything hanging off your body seems to get hung up on every briar, bramble, and everything that you walk through. It's the same reason I don't like to have a bunch of junk on my knife sheath, like ferro rods and things like that when I'm walking through the woods, because I don't like things catching on things. I like narrow backpacks, because in eastern woodlands we have very thick underbrush, and anything that you've got hanging off your body, even your hat, my hat gets caught on briars or brambles ripped off my head more times than I can count a lot of times. So anything I can do to minimize that, I like to do. Now, you could say, well, you could just tuck that knife, and we'll just use We'll just use the knife that I've got on here today that we're going to talk about. And the reason I chose this knife is just for the adaptability purposes of being able to show you some things. Um, is the Companion HD by Mora. And I, this is really one of their most underrated knives, I think. And again, it's the Companion HD model. It's not the normal Companion. It's got a thicker spine than the regular model does. And, you know, while we're on this video about hanging knives around your neck, I really think that these Mora sheaths are very underrated as well. A lot of people try to put these things in Kydex and leather, and I just love Moore's plastic sheaths. So for sheer adaptability, I just went from having a dangler loop on this thing, and we'll talk about that in just a minute. Now I can just snap that thing around my neck. Now, you could say that, you know, if you wanna avoid this thing hanging up on stuff, you can just stick it inside your shirt, and you could absolutely do that. The reason I don't do that and sometimes I overanalyze things, is because now I've got moisture inside that I'm wicking away from my body when I'm sweating and walking that is going to collect on that knife one way or another. Whether you've got it in Kydex, whether you've got it in leather, or whether you've got it in plastic with a drain hole, it's going to collect moisture over time, which just means more maintenance for a carbon steel knife. So I don't like to just tuck it inside. Now, when I'm working around camp, if I'm Sitting and I'm not moving through the woods and things like that. I wear a neck knife quite a bit of the time Just because of ease of getting at the knife to be able to do fine work and put it back in the sheath when I'm not using it So I don't have to worry about fishing around trying to get it in and out of a belt sheath If I'm doing a lot of work with a knife that requires put picking it up putting it down picking it up putting it down And I want a safe place to keep that knife That's a great reason to carry a neck knife and again I think it's more environmental and there's no wrong choice there. If I were walking through a snow covered area without a bunch of thick underbrush and things like that, the chance of this getting hung up on anything are nil. But again, if it's around your neck, it's swinging around. So the solution to that goes back to sticking it inside your shirt, which goes right back to what I talked about, about the knife collecting moisture, especially if it's a high carbon steel blade, which I try to avoid at all costs again, because it's less maintenance. So, do I think there's something wrong with carrying a knife around your neck? No. Do I choose to do it? Not unless I'm in a camp environment where I'm not walking around and exerting myself or have a chance on it catching something in the woods. Then I'll carry it around my neck. And it's very easily adaptable for that purpose. And that's why I like these more sheaths so well, because they're so adaptable. So now let's talk real quick about a couple other things. You know, one thing that you can do with this knife it's got this hole in the back of it, and some people don't even realize what that's for, and that's okay, but that hole is made to go over a button. So if you're wearing a jacket like the Sasta that's got that button on it, you can put that sheath right on there and snap it down on it, and you can have your knife right there around camp instead of having to wear it around your neck if you choose to do so. It's easy enough just to pull it off your belt, snap it up there while you're using it and fiddling with things, and then put it back on your belt when you're done, unsnap it off of there, and put it back on your belt when you're done. If you prefer a dangler, it's very easy just to put a loop of paracord inside this thing, and now you've got a dangler. And I do that a lot of times, but I don't necessarily carry it as a dangler, and I'll show you what I do a lot of times here in a minute. But the adaptability of this sheath, to me, makes it a great option, and the fact that it's very, very durable over time. Um, 
I saw a video that a guy put out a few years ago, and it's been a few years since I saw the video, so I can't give the guy credit. But he was talking about different ways that he carries a companion. And I think that it's a good thing to look at if you can find the video, because he also talked about, you know, taking a bigger loop and putting it over your shoulder and hanging that thing on there like a Baldrick type rig. And I think that's probably a good adaptation too. The good thing about this is the adaptability of the sheath. So let's get back down here and I'll get the camera down by my belt and we'll talk about a couple different belt carry options or jean or pocket carry options as well with this knife. Okay, so if I wanna just have a dangler loop, I can just put that thing through the loop that I created with a piece of paracord on my belt just like that. The other thing that that loop affords for me because I'm not a real big fan of the dangler carry because I don't like things flopping around. Like I said before, I'm not a big fan of having things flopping around that might get caught on things when I'm walking through brush. But what I can do with this, because I've got this dangler loop right at pocket level, is I can also take and hook this thing right in my pocket, just like this, so it's not flopping around. But if for some reason it were to come out of my pocket, which it would be pretty difficult to make that happen because of the way the sheath is built. But if it were to come out, it's not gonna fall off in the woods somewhere because it's still connected to my belt, so that's a good option. Now, you can also just put that thing right down in your pocket if you want to, just like that, and hook it on. You can hook it directly to a pocket. And on a pair of jeans, you really kind of have two options. You can hook it to the lower pocket, so it's a lower carry, or you could pick that thing up and put it in that little mini pocket right there, just like this, for a little bit higher carry, if that's what you wanted to do like this, or you can move it up onto the belt if that's what you chose to do. So you really have three different height levels that you can adjust that sheath to very, very easily on a pair of jeans. And that's one of the things that I find really great about this sheath as well is its adaptability to be able to be carried so many different ways. I really like that. Again, that's about my favorite way to carry it right there is with that dangler loop attached to my belt and the actual knife stuck into the pocket. And you could also go down into a cargo pocket if you wanted to, if you have a pair of carpenter jeans on like this, you could put that knife clear down here, but I generally carry my Baco Laplander there or one of my folding saws and carry the knife up here. So there you go. Okay guys, well that was just a quick video on my personal opinion about carrying a knife around your neck. And again, I don't think there's a wrong answer. I think everything is what you're comfortable with doing and your rationale for doing what you do. It's just like everything else in bushcraft. There's really nothing new that's been reinvented and there's really nothing that's wrong if it works for you. That's what the key is to this whole thing with bushcraft is what works best for you. Now, what I can tell you is as far as neck knife carry and woodsman of America, I can find no real reference other than possibly in historic photographs of Native American peoples having some type of small knife around their neck. But as far as American woodsmen go, from writers all the way back from Nesmick to Hyatt Verrill to uh, Horace Kephart and all through the line up to Ellsworth Yeager, I really can't find a reference to them carrying a neck knife of any kind. Now, if somebody's found that reference, I'm sure they're gonna correct me on this video, but I can't find those references in those books to the rationale or the reasoning or them saying, hey, it's a great idea to carry a neck knife. Guys like Morse Kahansky have carried neck knives for years and I think that's great. But again, what I look at with Morse is, you know, he's a very, very smart guy. That guy knows, has probably forgotten more than I'll ever know. And so when I look at it, I look at everything in context. Most of the time when I see Morse having a neck knife on, he's in camp, he's seated in camp, he's working with something. I've never heard him say, hey, I'm gonna take this neck knife and go walk you know, 10K through the woods with this thing flopping around my neck you know, or stuffing it in my shirt to do the same thing. I don't know that he wouldn't do that. But again, that's a personal choice, I think, and there's no right or wrong there. And I think that understanding that is the biggest part of understanding what we do in bushcraft is that there's really no right or wrong answers. There's just different ways of doing things. And as long as the way you do it works for you, then it's fine. The other thing I would say would probably be a good idea if you're going to carry a neck knife configuration of some sort would be to, especially if you're going to carry it away from camp and over distance, would be instead of putting a knot in the cord, put some kind of a liner or some kind of a uh, cord lock on this thing that could slip off if the thing were really to get hung up on something hard and you couldn't get off of it or you were to fall when it was caught on a branch or something like that, it would break away 
before you hit the ground or before you put a big ligature mark on the side of your neck because that could be dangerous as well. But I don't think I would worry about that near as much as I would worry about the thing flopping around, hanging up on brush when I'm walking through things and getting hung up like that. That's my main concern along with the maintenance factor of sticking it inside my shirt when I am exercising or trucking and things like that that I'm going to build up sweat. So anyway, just a couple personal opinions. Take it for what it's worth. I appreciate your views. I appreciate your support. I thank you for everything you do for our school, for our family, for our business, for all of our sponsors, instructors, affiliates, and friends. I'll be back with another video as soon as I can. Thanks, guys.